All right, welcome to the KCP community meeting on this lovely February Thursday. It's Thursday. Um, uh, as always, this meeting is guided by the CNCF Code of Conduct, which boils down to let's be excellent to each other. And with the formalities out of the way, let me share the agenda. We don't have much on the agenda, but I suspect that maybe we'll get a bigger discussion from the topic that I think MJ and I wanted to talk about, or primarily MJ brought it up, I think. And we should think about a product roadmap in so far, uh, what do we want to build in KCP next? Where should it go? What key things are we maybe missing? Basically, what's what's the road to the next minor releases and beyond? And I'm not sure, MJ, did you have a more of an introduction to that topic? Yeah, I'm just trying to find out the thread in Slack. Here we go. Okay, so one of the, I think this is one of the soft requirements from uh, CNCF to have some kind of roadmap published. And I think it makes sense to have some kind of targets, soft targets, hard targets when we're working in this. So. The yeah, idea was to try to agree on something as a as a group, and a lot of this roadmap items were inspired by the Stefan's co-worker uh, DevOps Toolkits uh, YouTube channel review, where basically he told how awesome is KCP with everything except documentation being almost scientific uh, scientific way so i think we as a as a target overall kcp has quite quite a lot of feature set quite a lot of grounds to work on but for the adoption it needs to be as easy as it can get for people to start using it in the right way for people to read documentations and things like that, especially in these five second attention span times. So proposal was basically to work on the Helm chart deployment model extension, emphasis on sharding for right using, uh, rebase basically to 130 and after that 131 that may be availability 132 so finishing up streaming generic control plain code and i'm talking about q1 q2 roadmaps and local development upstreaming basically making local development easier with a built kind sharded ways so not and I think mount points, yeah, which is not yet done. So, any people against any of those? Has I mean any of the suggestions? Any other ideas? I mean, I'm not sure if it's a roadmap item, but I think with like extended use, there are some. And maybe this is part of the user experience. I think there are a couple of like smaller APIs that don't work yet. I think the oh, what's it called? Uh, Self subject access review API. Um, I think is not functional yet. If I remember, there's some code that says implement me. Um, so. Uh, it's it's just an example for, and this is maybe something that you also need to identify all these small little pieces that might be still missing. So it's like this, I don't consider a specific roadmap item, but I think the, uh, the compounded list of these little things is something that we maybe want to tackle to get to a even, you know, closer to Kubernetes API functionality situation. It makes sense. Just a question, what's that list of features? 
I, I don't know. <laughs> so that, that, that's part of, uh, you know, maybe going through old issues, seeing what was written down as to be implemented. Or maybe it's just this one thing, but uh, I would be su surprised. Okay. We cross -check take... this for the project goals in the documentation. Sorry, I was, I was pausing the documentation. Maybe you've talked about this. What exactly do you mean? There's a page, project goals, in the documentation that has goals for the one to three years and three to 12 months. I was wondering when those three to 12 months started and if any of those things have been, you know, achieved already or would be worthy to put on the roadmap. But again, I, I didn't fully listen. <clears throat> so sorry if you already had. Yeah, I mean, we're talking about this page, right? Um, maybe, uh, Stefan, do you maybe know when this was written? It was written by Paul, that's what I remember. Yeah, that looks like Paul's style. Paul Wheel was one of the... I guess I'm end sure of what, 22 or something like that. I think we need to... Of course, this, of course this predates uh, the decision that we cut down the scope. So there was lots of... Probably about the TMC, if you go in there. Um, yeah, things like this here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I I think um, maybe this page is where we want to basically update our uh, roadmap. Um, I think it makes yeah. sense to to come to a list of things that we want to do. I mean, with the scope down, we already uh, we already know what things in this document we no longer want to do. There's probably still a lot of valuable input here to design a strategy. One other thing which I wanted to add is, uh, which we discussed, Myron, too, like a workspace root request. Basically, enable provisioning rootless cluster, rootless logical clusters within the core like i had it implemented in a outside it's a bit challenging and it's a bit uh, dirty so i would want to make it a standardized way for people to be able to create forest instead of single tree so no I mean, that, that's definitely something good well, root or rootless? What did we call it? Workspace root request. Yes. Re requesting dedicated root workspaces. Something like this, right? Multi root. Many roots. So root I have like really skeleton root code already. It still leaks logical cluster somewhere, <laughs> but need to think how to add it like as a plugin. Way, which I think helps move everything to the right patterns when it comes to consuming KCP. Yeah. yeah, I think I think we have two separate, let's say, categories of items here. We have like big themes, like where do we want to uh, go with KCP on a like big picture level. And we have these specific things that we know we want to implement. And I wonder if it makes sense to flesh out the themes and then we can group basic you know, missing features under them. And that gives us like a high level roadmap where we want to go. Um, does yeah, that make sense? Have, I think it makes sense. We have project sets uh, like a, TMC backlog, TMC epics, managed exported APIs, like a bunch of uh, 
Čia vien GitHub. Should we do a hard reset on those and try replanning a bit? Asynchronous? Because, like, I don't think it makes sense to, to keep the TMC ones, most of them, basically. Uh, I'm not exactly sure what you mean. Is it labeled or is it, or do we have many projects? If, if you go to GitHub KCP projects and there is a multiple tabs, I think they're based on labels. Ah, ah yeah. Okay. Epics, I think. Is, Epics, yeah, they're called yeah. these ones. And I'm kind of tempted just to do a hard reset on most of them and start replying as an Epics, basically, the roadmap. Yeah, I've, I've, I mean, we haven't used this board in the way that it has been set up in quite a while. So the, the incoming thing still makes sense for a triage. But I personally don't have any strong opinions about all these others. Um, I think it might be a good idea to reset them. But the, what do others think about it? I guess that's agreement. <laughs> Don't talk everybody at once. I mean, it, it's a good question. How do we want to organize these bigger themes that we're working towards? Um, I, I really like GitHub's task list feature. Unfortunately, it will never come out of private beta. Um, so maybe MJ, if you if you have a specific idea how to design this, I would say maybe just go ahead, um, clean this up, and then we can we can take a look at it and refine it with, with further input. But I think it's a good idea to organize these things. Okay, if people are okay for me going in and start deleting things, I'm just gonna do that. I don't hear anyone screaming. Okay, um, then maybe should we maybe talk about the like big themes that we want to work towards that we can then group things into? Because I feel like, so I, I mean, one of the, let's say perpetual things is keeping up with Kubernetes upstream, right? Um, that that is, I guess, kind of a given. Um, the control plane, the generic control plane code, I have to say I don't have a good overview of that, how much of it. I know that we have these open PRs that Christoph, I believe, rebased at some point in the last few weeks. Um, I'm not sure what their status is, and I'm not sure if there are more steps to take after that. Does anyone have a, bit of, a, bigger, a better idea? Um, of how work with the generic control plane code would look like and what else we can reasonably expect to upstream. Is the generic control plane done in upstream or already complete? Or is it? No, no. The RPRs, uh, Christoph updated one, rebased one. Okay. And you have to push it forward, which means make them smaller, review, get Jordan on board mainly, and get those things merged. In the basically in the in the window of the release cycle where we can merge stuff. So preferable in the beginning. And did did you have any luck with the lights and the that Prerequisite PR, the one for uh, for the CDs, you mean? CDs, yeah. No, I didn't. I mean, I didn't find the time. So, but that's a prerequisite for the for the control plane, yeah. That's the first one, I think, because that's the way I I ordered them. Of course, you can change the order, but then things break, and you have to fix on the. Uh, Fix the patches. There's no hard order, just a matter of work. So I will be bluntly asking 
How much people currently are under conference-driven development phase before KubeCon and has any capacity to do anything in this KCP space? I, I, I think I didn't understand the end part of that sentence. Um, so I think everyone is a little bit tight on time, probably, with your KubeCon. Um, I don't know. Um, I, I have I have these things in like for example this. I want to look at this self subject access review API and implement it, but um, my my time at the moment is volatile. A bit on time. Let's put it that way. Okay, so maybe the see all the CMPFs. Let's try to leave it after KubeCon. It's like let's not put more gas in a fire. Like we know everybody's limited in a time and how much we can do. But yeah, the big things is I think like maintenance and after that making adoption easier. Maybe maybe important. Uh, what so what, what is the, the window where we can get stuff in? Like when is the uh, next freeze? Because basically we have to plan ourselves to use that time. That's the only way to move forward. Yeah, we're talking about upstream freeze, right? Yeah. Yes. I'm just checking. Sixth of March is code freeze. So Six in months. three weeks. I don't think that's realistic. But that's code three is for one thirty, yeah. Yes, yes. Maybe the CRD one. Release is in April, so they should be. Um, I'm not sure when it opens again. And Cube is on a four month cycle now, right? Which means four months later is another freeze. That's so probably the windows, the windows around somewhere in the beginning of April to what is it? March, July, right? So April to July, roughly. So anything we can do in April when uh, the master branch opens again, that's the time. Okay, so April, July. Yeah, and July is too late again, so it's basically April and May. Yeah. So if we can organize ourselves to get stuff in doesn't have to be everything but um part for part i think the crd one is the closest one to get in but yeah it still needs some address legits comments comments yeah Okay. Um, how can is is there a way that we can best split that work um, of upstreaming it? So the CAD work is pretty much independent, and it's it's mostly getting Jordan on board. I think maybe optimizing ZPR even more. The other work that's harder because it's, it's a lot about code moving. 
and the PRs are there, right? Christoph updated one, so. Yeah, but the second one got closed because it missed a window. So supporting means basically making the tedious review of those PRs going through line by line. And the only other thing we can do is basically try to make them smaller. So whatever is possible in this direction would help a lot. So we are mostly talking about making this PR smaller, right? The other one that we yeah. yeah, yeah. And I think there's a second one, which is even bigger, if I remember right. That's the, the other one, I think. That's the CID one, but yeah, the, um, the, the first one you showed. No, I think it's the complete one, yeah. So uh, making this smaller in smaller steps, this would help. Okay, then. This year, the that one makes... I don't even know how you make it, you could make it even smaller. I'm, I'm not sure it's possible, so maybe it's just as it is. No, I think the one potentially adding some tests to make sure people comment to adjust. The tests are hard, right, for code moves. What should you test? Yeah, but like the this first command, does this change newly modified input objects objects for even no op conversion or webhook conversion? So that's I think it could be covered in a test. Maybe. I don't know. I miss the context. Yeah. Okay, but I think the, the gist is that we find it unlikely that anyone has time. To, to work on on this for the X or for the one dot thirty code freeze window. Do do I see that right? Yeah, one thirty is too late because that's three weeks, and uh, now people get nervous getting stuff in. Yeah, understandable. Okay. That's why right. beginning of April or whatever so the date is exactly when master opens. And I think for that topic, it makes most sense for us to discuss it again after KubeCon, maybe, because yeah. at that point um, we will have a better idea for our schedule. Sorry, Stefan. Try to find enough. I mean, people have to block time, myself included, and work on it. Maybe even very actively, like uh, taking a few days uh, just for this topic. Yeah, yeah that, that, that makes sense. But I think before KubeCon, that's just not going to happen. Um, so yeah. OK. Then. Um, Okay, that, that that makes sense. Then let's let's everyone should keep this in mind and see if they can already think about setting aside some time for it. Um, but I think once everyone is out of KubeCon preparations and has you know traveled back home, um, people will be able to like make a more concrete statement regarding how much time they have. So. Okay, then I, hmm. okay, so regarding themes, is there anything else um, that we're missing? Maybe something that's, I don't know, has been thought about maybe before the, uh, the, um, the project governance changes, something that, I don't know, has been, has been lost in the process a little bit. That someone is aware of, like a bigger team, um, a, a bigger set of features. Um, even though we like scope down a lot of the team C stuff, but on the API handling side of things, is there anything that we're aware of? There's a thread about naming in Slack. 
Do we have zero value? I don't think. No, but the one which uh, the folks said we're going to do PR. Yes, the one to, to add a field or some, something yeah. to specify which naming uh, which naming convention you want to follow. Yeah, I think that's uh, under business as usual, but yeah. yeah. It's like I, I, when I was thinking about these points, I was very much aware like how much time I have, how much time everybody else has. Most of these items are already in one or another way in progress, half baked. And the idea is just to, until we get more time, more people contributing, keep it slim, keep it small. Because that's the main idea. I'm kind of giving a lot of hope to KubeCon, considering we have in total four talks in. So maybe that will generate some traffic. I think that's reasonable. And I think the things that you mentioned earlier already, things like local development streamlining, we also talked about documentation improvements. I think this is the things that we can uh, that we can have the most impact with when it comes to getting new people to con contribute, right? Making it easier to try KCP out, making the documentation uh, maybe a little bit more accessible to people that are starting out. Um, so maybe maybe that should be our theme: the the streamlines, maintaining the streamlined feature set that we have, implementing all these like smaller features that enable more use cases for people uh, requesting them on the Slack channel, and then focus on community building in a way. Okay. Cool. Cool. Let me just quickly make a note here. Okay, focus. Mm -hmm. uh, documentation and getting KCP running should be our focus to attract more people. Okay. Is there anything else regarding the roadmap? Um, I think um, it makes sense to refresh the document that Christoph pointed out. Um, but I would assume it also doesn't have highest price priority. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, if someone wants to do that, feel free. Um, but it's it's not that urgent, I think. Okay. Um, Then I think we have that topic covered. Our roadmap for the for the future. We talked a bit about generic control plan upstreaming. Is there any other topic that someone would like to discuss? Elephant in the room, KubeCon. So like uh, again, KubeCon. So I know Marvin, you have a talk in the platform days. Mm -hmm. So we have the one main in a KubeCon. The three of us plus we got approved for the kcp lightning talk as a cncf sandbox i got email so somebody needs to do it basically if any if there are any volunteers i think max two people can do that no demos no things like that and i got my lightning talk into rejects too so and the, the last one that's about mounting the no the about mounting yes the one is into reject okay. and we got one generic lightning talk six minutes like kcp yeah what the hell is this so that's there is no like a thread team or uh, call for papers anything we just said we're gonna give you six minutes to present kcp go So is it, is this doing the normal conference days or is it like on the when all the lightning talks are done i think the day before you know that one i think during the normal conference day we just asked like will you do it i kind of answered like yeah we'll find somebody worst case scenario i will do it and 
they said we'll come back to you with the dates and time. Uh, that's it. Okay. By the way, do, did you get some updates regarding this booth thing? That stuff wasn't. I didn't got anything. I assume silence. Basically, no. Because this is what. Oh, Tuesday, nineteen. So yeah. In our pleasure to inform you that KCP project has been selected for a six-minute lightning talk on Tuesday, 19 of March. This happening in a in person and blah 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 in France. And more information will follow. So I think Stefan, I CC'd you to that email, so you should find it from somewhere. And I have a week yeah. to submit details about Lightning Talk. OK. Good thing I read oh. the email again. So um, need to present a speaker, job title, speakers. So any volunteers to do that or join the six minutes show? I mean, do we want to present a specific feature? Oh, sorry, Stefan, go ahead. Yeah, same question. What's uh, okay. uh, what, what are good topics? Um, it's in general like presenting the project and think what it does and what, it's, what it is. Like, uh, let me, I can share the screen what's in a form. Yes, I think I can know. share it. It's, it's not like... A, I think if it's the normal lightning talks, I think it's in quite in front of a big audience, like three, four thousand people. Using three, four slides. Maybe an idea. Um... In, in CI, people use kind usually, right? And it just takes quite some time. In KubeBind, I was using KCP, that's just using a workspace. So it's super easy to get a quick cluster to, I don't know, CAD testing, Cordura testing. That might be a nice topic. Stefan, how many Works. talks do you have now? <laughs> Wanna do this one too? <laughs> I have to. I'm, I'm not sure I can do that, to be honest, but uh, I have to check. Just an idea. That's something we could show. That's easy to understand. I, mean, I, I think the alternative is like a general introduction lightning talk, because I'm sure that a lot of people still haven't heard about KCP. Uh, so just showing off like the general feature sets um, very quickly might also so, be worth it. Idea for this one, which I was thinking is, uh, again, I kind of got hooked up on the storytelling and I was thinking, like, do you want to build a SaaS platform where you can order pizza using kubectl anywhere in the world and uh, from any place geolocated and basically do this pseudo short, like kubectl create pizza dash dash location somewhere and kind of show this like workspace things, potentially pizza shops linked up. So this pseudo model of uh, SaaS in 10 minutes, basically. Some CR pseudo CRDs and things like that. I know that was just an idea. Yeah, that in I, I guess in a way that feels a bit like a practical and compressed version of what I would like my talk to be. Um, I think that's a good, like a bit more like, it's, it's not gonna be live demo of course, but like showing off what KCP can do. Um, if, if, if no one is uh, eager or willing to take the spot, I can, you know, uh, so, so uh, two people, two people can do that. So we basically. So we it's like three yeah. minutes per person. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But I, I would be up 
for being one of the of one of the persons. Um, should should we start a separate Google Doc where basically no here's Stefan, your talks both of KCP related or one is something else? One is something else. CDs. CDs. Okay. So like should we just uh, have a separate Google Doc where we align themes and topics we're talking about because I so if same people come to the talks, we don't deliver the same content. Just bullet points and ideas. I don't know. Yeah, and put links to the slides maybe. So yeah. Yeah. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna start the document after after the meeting, maybe tomorrow for that. Okay, so, sounds good. And I was also preparing a blog post for the KCP website, giving like a schedule of where like we will be, like where talks are from KCP or about KCP or uh, at least like potentially related to KCP will be. Um, so if you have talks, I think I have a work in progress PR up. Um, I think we can also, for example, add the rejects talk. That's also really nice. Um, so. Yeah, also let me know to, to add these things. We'll do. Yeah. Okay, so what is our kind of, um, right, let, me, let me bring out the meeting minutes again. Uh, what, what's our verdict on the lightning talk? So um, is there someone else who, let, let's say at least thinks about also doing it doesn't need to be a complete commitment. But MJ, would you be interested in maybe doing this I, with me? Yeah, let's do it. It's like okay. So we have a week to come up with what we want to tell. <laughs> no pressure, no pressure. Okay. Great. And Stefan Sebastian, we have Monday call to catch up to. So I did a brain dump in our shared chat on the talk. But yeah, it was very much rambling. Cool. Okay. Do we have any other topic that we should talk about? There is no incoming issues. I think all most of the questions answered in the chat. Um, yeah, while, while we are at the matter of like more specific issues and and uh, uh, bugs, uh, there's one PR that I would like to draw some attention to. Our last rebase um, of controller runtime had an issue. So there is now this little PR here. Um, I also had a PR up, but it's, uh, it was not nearly as, uh, as good as, or as easy as this PR. Um, essentially you couldn't list, uh, uh, uh resources, um, with the controller runtime client. Um, and this basically just needs approval, I think. Um, I think Stefan, you are the only person right now in the owner's file that can approve yeah. for controller runtime. Can um, you share that? Did you share it in in chat? Uh, let me uh, let me put it on the meeting notes, but I can also send it uh, on Slack as well. The uh, PR in question. I have it already, so. Yeah, no, okay, perfect. Um, but then I was I went over a couple of uh, KCP projects and updated the owner's file to, to the current maintainers. I missed controller runtime apparently. So I'll I'll I can also follow up on that. Um so we can approve our contributions like this because it's really nice that someone found the most efficient way to fix this. Okay, and I see you approved, Stefan. Thank you very much. Okay, then last chance. Does anyone have another topic that they would like to discuss?
Okay. Seems what, like a no. What day is you in Paris? Um, Monday, Friday? I think so, yeah. Cool. If Monday, Friday, I think we'll have more than enough time to catch up. Etc. Okay, then thank you all. Have a great evening and talk to you all soon. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.